Hey there, everybody. Jared Polin, Frono's Photo. So I get a lot of questions about Lightroom and what they sh what people should be doing in it. And one question is, how do I set a preset and where and why would I use a preset? As you can see here on the left side, I don't have a lot of user presets. I actually have one preset. That's a general sharpening that I kind of use just about for every image that I shoot. Uh, it's not overkill, it's not underkill, it's just a little bit of sharpening that has to be thrown into each image. And certain images need more, so I go in and I tweak that. But let's go into what a preset is. A preset is something that you can basically click one button and you get back to a really intensive change that you've made in the past. Say you've liked a lot of saturation in an image and you've made 14 different changes over here in the exposures, fill light, recovery, black modes, and things like that, and you liked that. So you would save that as a preset. It's like an automated process that you used to use in Photoshop, or that you may still use. Um, it basically automates the same thing over and over and over again when you click it, depending on uh, what image you choose it for. So one simple thing is I use it for sharpening, but let's say we want to turn the photo into a black and white. You could use the Lightroom presets, but I just want to show you how you set your own. So for this case, I'm going to take this image and I'm going to take all the saturation out of it, take all the vibrance out of it. So now we have a starting point for a black and white image. So how do we save this as a preset? Come over here to preset, hit the plus, blah, blah, hit the plus button, give it a name, we'll call it black and white that's not how you spell white that's how you spell white and as of right now clarity is checked now that's not what we want our preset to remember just a clarity setting that's not right so we're going to check none and we're going to go over here to color and we are going to click saturation and vibrance because that's what we're getting rid of then we're going to hit create and then right here, you can see black and white preset. So let's go to this image and say, well, we want this image to be black and white. Boom. There it is. It's a quick preset to make this black and white. Now, there's a million other things you can do. Maybe not a million, maybe like 30. So let's look under the presets again. You have white balance, you know, your basic tone. You can read all of these and see the different things that you can set for presets. So that is a really simple thing to do if you want to if, if there is something that you do in Lightroom that you do all the time so what this allows you to do is save a setting that you always use and get to it very quickly and put that effect into the pictures that you want to put it into it is really that simple and it really does work and speed up your workflow so I really think that's it it's not too intensive that's how you do it um and i hope that helps so that is making a preset in lightroom froknowsphoto.com